Biden said something that's really scary. And actually, when I, when I think about this election right now, this is the kind of stuff that worries me for the future. As much as they want to say, oh, you know, the country's never going to be the same if Donald Trump wins. Well, let me tell you, it's never going to be the same if this crowd is going to continue to be in charge. Here's Joe Biden saying, you know, obviously Americans are trying to come together and help one another given the, the tragedy of the hurricanes, but he also says something really kind of threatening. Like, if you dare to speak out against FEMA, bad stuff is going to happen. I was stunned. Maybe this was just a Biden misfire. Let's hope it was. But listen to what he says at the end. He says some nice, good stuff that's important. I don't disagree with it. But listen to the little sort of twist that comes at the end of this. Let's watch it together. When America's in trouble, we all jump in and try to help. You help your neighbor. And that's basically what's happened. But what, the thing that bothers me the most is there's a lot of people who get caught in these crises who are basically alone. You know, widowers, wi 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 widowers, uh, people in hospitals, uh, people who are by themselves. And they don't know, and they lose contact. And they, get, and they just get scared to death. Scared to death. And anyway, so... I think it's, uh, I think those who have been spreading these lies to try to undermine the opposition are going to pay a price for it. Do you think Donald Trump is singularly to blame for all of this? No, he's not singularly to blame. He's just the biggest mouth. Hmm. Did you hear that right there at the end? Let me see. I'm going to just the play America's it at the trouble. very, very, very end because that's important. Do you think Donald Trump is singularly to blame for all of this? No, he's not Mind the opposition, they're going to pay a price for it. <laughs> they're going to pay a price for it? So anybody who speaks out against That's FEMA right. is going to pay a price? Lies to try to you hear this? Those who have been spreading these lies to try to undermine the opposition, they're going to pay a price for it. <laughs> wow. What's he mean? What's he mean? Let, let me be very clear. These aren't lies. I mean, FEMA says it's out of money. Let's go to my orca saying exactly that. We are meeting the immediate needs uh, with the money that we have. We are expecting another hurricane hitting. Uh, we do not have the funds. FEMA does not have the funds to make it through the season. No. Okay, so, so we're not making this up, Joe. Now, you know, maybe you'll get the funds. Maybe you'll have some appropriation and you'll move money from here, there to, to everywhere. But you don't have the funds. And that's not misinformation to say it. You know, there's a little dust up with Ducey over at uh, my former employer, Fox News, and KJP just the other day about this very issue. Watch. To the impacted areas. And, but instead, people want to do disinformation, misinformation, which is dangerous which is dangerous because then it, what that, when, when folks on the ground hear that, they may not want to ask for the help that they need. That is there for them. That is there for them. That's our focus here. But President Biden is fond of saying, show me your budget and I will tell you what you value. If he's got money for people in Lebanon right now without Congress having to come back, what does it say about his values? There's not enough money right now for his people values, in North Carolina who his, need it. That's not misinformation. Wait, no, that is we, your whole your whole premise of the question is misinformation, sir. Excuse what you don't? Me? Yes, yes, Which it's part? misinformation. Did, is there I money just, to I just mentioned. Right now? I just mentioned. I just mentioned to you that we provided more than two hundred million dollars to folks who are impacted in the area, and I just shared with you that people are deciding but not to. Not, uh, people are deciding not to. President, not I wait. To Congress that there's not enough money to help people. We're in North talking Carolina about the SBA by, disaster loan. That's yes. money for people in North but, Carolina. And that's important. And people in North Carolina need that. Con so, wait, this is nothing new. Right Peter, this is nothing new. Congress comes together. They provide money, millions of dollars, for disaster relief. We're asking them to do the job that they have been doing for some and time. I'm from a letter that President Biden They're doing sent for to some Johnson, time. McConnell, Schumer, and Jeffries. The president's letter is not misinformation. Would you agree? No, the way you're asking me the question is misinformation. There is money that we are allocating to the impacted areas, and there's money there to help people who truly need it. There are survivors who need the funding, who need the funding, and it's there. That you don't like misinformation. I said That's that right. I Bingo. actually said we have the money available to help. Okay. You can't call a question you don't like misinformation. 
You can't sit there and say, okay, the optics of this aren't looking so good. We've got Mallorca saying we're out of money, and we are. And we've got, well, headline after headline talking about the millions, billions of dollars that were spent on FEMA, on all the migrants. Okay, like those two things, they exist. That's not misinformation. They just don't like the optics of it because you're sitting there going, wait a second, you guys had money for this, but you don't have money for that? You didn't save any money <coughs> knowing that hurricane season was going to come along? And now Joe Biden wants to tell us that somehow if you dare to go there, ladies and gentlemen, if you dare, if you dare to criticize FEMA, then somehow you're going to be in trouble? I mean, where does that leave the media? Because don't we need to be able to report on what FEMA can and cannot do? I spent six weeks on the ground after Katrina, and believe me, a lot of the reporting I did was actually about FEMA and the Bush administration and how they were screwing it up because they had all these trailers sitting in an empty lot and they couldn't get them to the people. It was a bureaucratic nightmare. I needed to report that. I am a reporter. Reporters need to report this, and he's out there saying, I gotta play it again because then I'm gonna play you what CNN just said. Woo, they're in trouble. They're in trouble. They're okay, let's fast forward to the good part. Here we go. So I think it's, uh, I think those who have been spreading these lies to try to undermine the opposition are going to pay a price for it. <laughs> Whoa, they're going to pay a price for it. <laughs> Buddy, like we need to be able to report on this. This is not a lie. FEMA's struggling. They don't have the money. Kamala Harris says all she can come up with is 750. Uh, and the federal relief and assistance that we have been providing has included um, FEMA providing $750 for folks who need immediate needs being met. Yeah. Okay, that, that's not going to cut it. That's not, people are going to need a lot more than that, especially because in many cases they do not have insurance. Insurance doesn't cover this. If you do have insurance, they, they give you like a, a really small amount with a really high deductible. So CNN went where they're not supposed to go. And look at how they had to couch this. They had to be super careful. They're like walking on eggshells as they try and report the reality that FEMA has no more money. Watch how it's done. Yeah, and it, we should say from the outset here that FEMA does have the money that it needs for its immediate concerns. That's according to the White House, that's according to the FEMA director. But there are other pots of money that they are concerned about, and specifically when it comes to the Small Business Administration. They're responsible for providing low interest loans, not only to small businesses, but to homeowners, uh, homeowners and renters as well who are trying to recover from this storm. And what President Biden says is they only have a few weeks of funding left and they need more money very urgently. Now, FEMA is... So they need more money. Even President Biden says it. Even CNN says it. It's CNN, you are in trouble, but at least you couched it carefully, right? That's what you have to do. You have to walk on eggshells. I'm sorry, I don't want to walk on eggshells. That's why I like being over here. Make sure you subscribe, share, like, all that good stuff. I like this because there is no teleprompter. I'm not walking on eggshells with anyone. I mean, it's scary, right? Because I actually could be risking a lot by just reporting the fact that, hmm, they did spend money on this, but they don't have any money for that. Somehow... That's going to land you in misinformation jail. <laughs> Good thing I have my stocks. Reminder, go over to 76 Research. Check this out. Those are our top picks. You can see all of the stocks in all of our portfolios are up nearly 11% versus an S&P 500 index up 5.9%. So clearly, we're doing something right here. I just want you guys to be able to partake in all of that as well.